Today we're going to be looking at 15 dead running backs. We're going to be looking at the 15 most dropped running backs over at ESPN in fantasy football and determine whether or not you should be dropping them in fantasy football right now or picking them up. But what you need to do right now is click that subscribe button. Tap it with your finger on your phone. Click it with your mouse on your computer. Stop missing out on these deep dives on the waiver wire. We're talking about the obscure prospects. We're talking about the guys you need to pick up. We're talking about the guys you need to drop. We're helping you set those lineups. We're helping you win those trades. Videos every day, almost all day long on this channel. Hit that button. Stop missing out. Let's look at these dropped players. First thing is first, and it is Zach Evans. He's the number one most dropped player in fantasy football right now per ESPN. Big drop rate. He's still rostered in 16% of leagues. I've watched Zach Evans more than most people. His high school tape, his college tape over the years. It's done. It's done. He is one of those players that you just want to shake relentlessly he has so much talent he has so much upside he doesn't live up to it we saw that in college we saw the weirdness during the recruiting process from high school to college it's done it's done he's not developing he's not transitioning i hope i'm wrong i hope i can make a video and say i'm wrong about this but he fell into draft for a reason he did not do well at the combine for the for a reason even though when you watch his tape it looks a lot more faster than that when you see him at TCU, Ole Miss. You see the pop in the step. There's a reason why. We did not get prepared. We're not transitioning. We did not transition well to the college level. We did not hit that upside. We showed it in flashes, but we did not tap into it. It's done. It's done. And you should be dropping him right now. 16.1% roster rate is way too high. He should be dumped a lot faster than this. Jordan Mason, it's done as well. Christian McCaffrey's back. He's healthy. You only want Jordan Mason if Christian McCaffrey's on the mend. He's not on the mend. He's getting the touches. He's getting the opportunity. He was the RB1 this week. Jaleel McLaughlin. Looking at him, and the production has dropped. Javante Williams is getting the touches. He is getting the workload. McLaughlin has the pop in his step. He's the RB2. Do you really want the RB2 on the Broncos? Is that going to win your league? You want him if something happens to Javante Williams, for sure. Rostered in 36% of leagues right now, I think that's going to drop even more. I think if we continue this trend, the workload's dropping, the points are dropping, he's going to be dropped some more. I can see where the upside could tap into right now, but again, he's going to be released the waivers in a lot of leagues, and you're going to be picking them up, dropping them, picking them up, dropping, just like the other lottery ticket running back. So he's safe to drop, but again, you want to be a little bit leery depending on the depth of your league. Basic leagues, if there's something on waivers you want, don't be afraid to do so. Keontae Ingram, he's gone. He's gone. He should be dropped. He should be rostered in less than 4% of leagues. That's probably the right rate, actually. It's kind of a joke, but he should be mass dropped. Big time because Amari Demacado has served him and the Cardinals offense is not an offense you want. He should be dropped. He should be gone. He did nothing. He's a late round prospect. This was his time. He did not capture it. Probably not going to capture it again. James Conner is going to be back. He's gone. He's done. Jeff Wilson, roster in 43% of leagues right now. A lot of people are dropping him because he's not getting workload. He's not scoring fantasy points. But Devin A. Chain still hurts. The Dolphins are still the Dolphins. He's coming back from an injury, and there are ramp-up periods. We don't know about these players' injuries. We think we do. We think we have an idea, but we don't know. We do not know how long of a ramp-up period this is going to be. And running backs are hard to roster. Stashes are hard to roster. They're hard to hold on to. He's being dropped in 8% of leagues. His roster rate dropped a little bit. But again, he's a stash. He's a stash just in case... Things turn around with the Dolphins. And you know why with the Dolphins. You know why with this team. They use their running backs. Anybody can have a blow-up week on any given Sunday. Jeff Wilson is a stash. He's a player you want to hold just in case the roster rate is okay. I feel like that's about right. Maybe closer to 50%. I think more people should stash these upside guys more than they should and more than what they're doing. But again, Jeff Wilson has a lot of upside. I don't agree with dropping him. If you picked him up initially, you should be really seeing this through a little longer. 
Jamal Williams, easy drop for me. Easy drop for me. This is the Kamara show. I only want Williams if something happens to Kamara. If then, they might roll with Kendra. They might look at that. Really depends on the shape they're at. Really depends on what's going on there. But again, a lot of people are dropping Jamal Williams. That makes sense. The touches aren't there. Ramping up from the injury. But it's the Alvin Kamara show right now. And they need to run him into the ground. Now it's Elijah Mitchell on the list. We're at RB7 right now. Again, Christian McCaffrey was on the mend but came back. He's getting the touches. You don't need Elijah Mitchell unless something happens to Christian McCaffrey. Elijah Mitchell's getting healthier from that knee issue that he had earlier this year. But still, roster in just 25% of leagues. He's a stash for some people just in case something happens to McCaffrey. That's why his roster, that seems about right because we saw the juice back in the day when he's healthy. He has some upside due to the pop and the step. But again, Christian McCaffrey show. If you need to make the drop, do it. If you need to handcuff or that's your stash, that's okay too. A.J. Dillon is getting dropped a lot here. Just 3% though. So the last part of this list are just guys trending up on the drops. Again, he's up and down. He's scoring fantasy points. May not be enough to win your league, but he's getting touches. He's getting opportunities. And really depends what's on waivers and what you're looking at. You're not excited about him. You may not be, even be rolling him up in your lineups. But he is getting touches. He's getting opportunities. In the last few games, he scored 10 fantasy points, 11 and 13.6. So he is doing something. He is getting opportunities. Just not a sexy name. Aaron Jones is also starting to look healthy as well. But A.J. Dillon is a guy that should be rostering a lot of leagues, which he still is, almost 70%. But people are starting to drop him. People are starting to filter through their teams. Also, a lot of people are on the losing end of their leagues, so they got to make some bigger moves. You're going to see guys like Dylan drop. Latavius Murray, we brought in Lenny Fournette. He's not being productive. He is in line to see opportunities. He is in line to score on any given week, but it's not happening. He hasn't done that for a while. He could get goal line looks here and there. He could turn it around, but the thing about this is, He's not a guy that's going to win your league. He's not a guy that has tremendous upside, maybe crossing the goal line here and there upside. But that might be gone if Leonard Fournette starts doing Leonard Fournette things. And he could be good enough for him to be the RB2. This team can move the ball in chunks. He is on the Bills. But eventually, you got to make your move. Murray's a stash for somebody who just wants the Bills. He's stashed in 22% of leagues. I think that's right where it should be. I think people should be looking to drop him for other players, though. I think he should be really working that waiver wire. I don't think he's a high-end stash. I don't think he's a guy that's going to win your league. I don't think that's going to happen. So if you're looking for that off the waiver wire, or if you're looking for that that's on your bench, I don't think he's all of a sudden going to go off and give you five 20-plus fantasy performances. I don't think that's in the cards here. Cross the goal line here and there. That's what you're hoping for. Latavius Murray, if you want to drop him, go ahead. Samaj P. Ryan. He's dust. I think he's rostered in way too many leagues here. 34%. If he's on your roster right now, just get rid of him. Get rid of him. Start shooting for some upside. He hasn't done anything since week five. And at that, it wasn't that much. It wasn't grandiose. Javante Williams stealing the show. He's the RB3 really in this offense right now. And this offense is something you do not want to be invested into. So why is he here? Why is he rostered in that many leagues? I get it. It's not a high number. But go ahead and release him. Release him back into the wild. Royce Freeman. Interesting to see a lot of people drop him. When you see that 3%, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people because a lot of people play in ESPN leagues. Think about that. He's splitting the, the workload with Hendo. I don't know if you want the RB2 on the Rams. If you want a running back that could cross the goal line here and there, we saw that last week, then maybe it's a pickup. Maybe it's a guy you want to look up off waivers. However, if you're looking for a player that's going to win your league, May not be it. If the Rams get a running back that's going to go nuclear and fantasy, they got to catch the ball in the backfield. They got to do what Kyron Williams did because they're fueled through the passing game. They got those hosses at wide receiver. And if they're not open, then they can go to that running back. Royce Freeman's not that dude. He is the goal line guy. He can catch a little bit out of the backfield. He's trustable. He's reliable. But still, for fantasy, you need that upside. He doesn't have it. But if you need a running back that crosses the goal line here and there, that could be yours. Honestly, I'm not rostering him in a ton of leagues. Chuba Hubbard rostering 42.8% of leagues. You're rostering for touches. You want him for touches. He gets those touches. He's not always going to do something with those touches. 
But not all running backs get this many touches, this many opportunities. Again, he's starting to get dropped because he's not doing anything with those touches. It's going to go down to an equilibrium part where the rubber meets the road here with the roster rate. But again, he's getting workload. He's getting touches. He's getting opportunities. He's just not always scoring fantasy points with those. And you got to make a call with that. Dalvin Cook, he's dust. He's dust. He's rostered in way too many leagues right now. He's not getting touches. He's not looking like Dalvin Cook. Maybe he gets traded. I would hold on past the trade deadline, which will be probably be after you watch this video. I would hold on to that. But again, he's dust. He's done. He is definitely good to be released to the waiver wire. Easy call there. Unless something happens to Brees Hall, then you may want him because he's going to get those touches. Brees Hall has dealt with injuries before. But again, Dalvin Cook, good to release to the wild. Jalen Warren, it's not like he's been off these last few weeks. Fancy scoring 11, 10, 10, 7. He gets opportunities using the passing game. He's in decent game scripts, rostered in 70% of leagues. I don't see that many people run into the waivers to drop him. I think he's a guy that you're playing hot potato with a little bit, depending on what's there on waivers and if you're looking for guys that can win your league. However, if something happens to nausea, you're going to want Jalen Warren. If he's on waivers, you pick him up. If he's on waivers, he's probably the top running back there. You pick him up. You enjoy getting 10, 11, 12 fantasy points per game. Sometimes you'll get 7 or 6, depending on the outcome of the game script. But Jalen Warren's good to be on your roster to play the matchups with. At 15, and it's a sad state of affairs, but Antonio Gibson is reaching the list here. He's rostering 42% of leagues here. Just hasn't been hitting. This commander's offense, just look at the offense. Go look at some box scores here. The passing department, the range of outcomes is vast for all the pass catchers and also for Antonio Gibson because they spread the ball around a lot. That's why Johan Dotson's been volatile. That's why it's been very hard to trust the pass catchers except for really Terry McLaurin. It's been off and on. They spread the ball around a lot. Brian Robinson has been looking good. Gibson is hard to trust. But when you think of the theology of picking up running backs off waivers, you want guys with upside. He's got it. He could be a roster clogger, though. But if something happens to Brian Robinson with the theology that we're looking at these other running backs off waivers, with Antonio Gibson being thought of as a handcuff with upside, then you can get on board a little bit more than a guy that's supposed to be a big component to your lineup because if something happens in his offense he could be the next guy up getting production and workload we're also seeing chris rodriguez being used a little bit more shout out to him for getting it done a little bit gibson could be a thing something happens to brian robson and they start throwing it more to the running backs but that being said those are 15 running backs who are being dumped off the waiver wire there's some strategy around these players a lot of them though should be dumped and released back into the wild. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.